Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and thank you guys so much for tuning back into our Town Hall 11 Trophy Push to Top 200. And last episode, episode 14, we were sitting at 5,376 trophies at the end of the episode. And guys, we're currently sitting at 5,600, my personal best so far, by the way, and over 200 trophy profit. I would say we're doing a pretty darn good job, all things considered, especially since it's only four days in between these episodes, so that's over 50 trophies per day which actually doesn't sound that great, but it's really good when you're trophy pushing because look at these offers, guys. Besides the second attack, which was 13 trophies, every single gain here, and yeah, no replays, the update drops, but every single gain that I've gotten, even three stars, have been single digit. Nine, eight, seven, five, four, three, five, seven, and then that 13 was an exception, and then four. So things are very slow going, especially because the, the clouds can be ridiculous. The longest I've waited so far was 3.5 hours, three and a half hours waiting for a single base. And it ended up being an awful base. Like the, the, the offer was horrible. But guys, I have one of the greatest base, the, one of the greatest attacks ever. And first of all, before we look at this, look at this base design. This base, without an eagle artillery, by the way, I'm super glad it didn't have an eagle artillery. Otherwise, it would have been bad. Um, this base design was perfect perfect in defending the queen walk and let me show you why i always use the queen walk to take out the enemy clan castle right the enemy clan castle is currently protected by single targeting infernos on either side on the back on the front and sweepers pointing out the back so i thought okay come from the sweepers blind side right well that's up here and that's through like four compartments all right so no we're not going to come through the top top left okay well i guess we should come from the bottom right no there's two single targeting infernos there Terrible, terrible place for a queen walk. So what I decided to do was just go straight at that air defense and hope to pull out that clan castle and hope to kill it. Because that single targeting inferno, once it locks onto that queen, it's over unless you pop the ability. Now, I did make a mistake. I did make a mistake. I am human and I made a big mistake, but we'll get to that point when we get there. All right. First of all, let's look at that. The Firebirds. That's an awesome clan name. Shout out to this guy for having a cool clan name. And the loot grab. 990,000 gold on this base. And I grabbed most of it. All right. Shout out to that. Uh, that's a lot of gold. Plus a loot bonus is 340,000. So that is, that's really, really good. So anyway, Queen coming in from the bottom. We got ourselves an Arch Tower and an Expo and also the King. Now in hindsight, it probably would have been better to come from like the right corner because we would have gotten the Queen, but the King and the Witches and the Bowlers and all that stuff that I use for the other side of the funnel handled her just fine. So we're going to kill this enemy uh, enemy king here. She's going to lock on to the expo, the elixir storage, the altar, etc. And then she's going to start. She had nowhere to go, really. She has nowhere to go but to the left. So she's slowly approaching that um, that eagle artillery, that um, inferno tower. And she gets rid of the air defense. Drop the rage. And I should have used the queen's ability here. If I would have used the queen's ability, that inferno tower would have locked onto another troop instead. And then this would not have gone bad but yes as soon as that eternal tone fades away i have to use my queen's ability to keep her alive and now that she's invisible the clan castle comes out and guess what the clan castle targets the healers all right my healers are getting roasted and there's nothing i can do about it so i lose my queen walk queen takes out the enemy cc which was kind of the whole point but it's it's over at that point i mean she's gonna she's gonna work on the wall she's gonna die the grand warden's gonna die too it's just a bad deal so we go ahead because there's nothing else we can do drop the witches the king and all the bowlers and then drop a fancy fancy rage oh yes raged bowlers one of the most beautiful things that you can see in Clash of Clans. Absolutely. So the king approaches the enemy queen. Uh, pops his ability. He's going to get roasted by the Inferno Tower. Oh, he steps away. Nice. But look at this. Look at all these giant bombs and Teslas everywhere around these bomb towers. I went ahead and dropped the, inf the miners to try to get to that town hall. Again, so happy there was no eagle. Otherwise, this probably would not have worked out. Amazing base design. So I've got a heal spell down, keeping these miners alive. I've got one more heal spell. Going to deploy it right there. Have to get that town hall. And then fortunately, these babies, with the help of the balance of the bowlers, grabs that town hall. That's the one star. Now, if we can get the two star, that'd be great because this was by far the best trophy offer that I've found in quite some time. So 48, 49, and can we get that 50? We got that 50. Awesome. So the two star has been locked down, and we got it. But this was the first. Look at, look at that minefield right there. Look at that death pit. All right? Just a crazy death pit. King died in the death pit. Tons of miners, tons of bowlers. Everything died in the death pit. Just a terrible, terrible place to be. And this base design was the first base design that's actually made me think. 
So shout out to this guy, because that, that, like, I sat there staring at this base for quite some time before I finally threw down some troops, because I knew I had to get that queen walk, she had to get that CC, otherwise it would not have worked out, and that was the only way that was going to work. Um, had there been an eagle, again, I probably would have failed. So shout out to this guy. But look at that loot grab. 783,000 gold plus the loot bonus over a million gold in one attack. And I have actually found attack or bases with over a million gold. But unfortunately, my replays got wiped out. I think it was... No, whoa. Oh, that's weird. I didn't, I didn't, know, I, I didn't know I could scroll that. That's so cool. Oh, I just learned something awesome. Anyway, I think that that is the one that had over a million. 640,000 grabbed, but it had it was an over a million. Oh, look at that. Look at that right there. John. It's John. The replay is gone. I'm so sorry. I didn't know the replay was going to get wiped out. Supercell didn't tell me, but over a million gold right there. That is just absolutely insane. So I guess we're going to have to settle for second place here, and let's show the bigger of the two replays here. This one, again, was not a very good trophy offer, but look at that, 844,000 gold. The loot up here is absolutely insane if you're still farming. I am, so I actually enjoy being up here. I just don't like the, the, the clouds are bad. So, um, same song and dance here, guys. Queen walk from the north this time, because that's where the clan castle is. We're going to avoid the inferno towers that are single targeting, and just basically send the queen in from the top. She is going to approach slowly, because she's got to break through every building, and she's very easily distracted. Just go forward, queen. And we're going to drop a rage, because there is um, two archer towers and about to be two expos on her. There we go. Two of those max expos do tons of damage. So rage spell down, and there we go. We're approaching, and there we go. CC is down. Look, look at that, by the way. Minions and dragons. I've I just don't understand. I've seen that so many times this past few days, and I just don't get why that's in the CC. It's not that difficult to beat. Anyway, so kill the CC. That was the big point. Now we'll drop the wizards and the ballers and the king and everything in front of the queen. That way we create a nice funnel. Everything works together to grab that core. So queen locks onto the wall. So which is deployed. We're gonna have skeletons approaching. Once the skeletons kind of get all the way up as far as it's gonna go, get the king, get the CC ballers, get the regular ballers. Drop Drop that rage spell, and then obviously we need our wall breakers. Everything goes in very nicely, and then I want the king actually to go in, but he's not doing it. I don't know what his deal is. He decides to go in and bang on a wall. That was not very efficient, my friend, but that's all right because the bowlers are going to approach all raged up and wipe out the single targeting inferno anyway. And all I'm trying to do is clear a space, clear a path to that town hall so we can get that two-star with the miners. So bowlers are doing a great job on the bottom. Queen almost dies at the top, so we pop her ability, and she's going to approach and actually take out the... Uh, what she going to get? The air defense. Very nice. She's going to get that Tesla. Get that Tesla, girl. Nice. Okay, Tesla goes down. Arch Tower does not, but that's okay. Deploying those miners, basically beeline toward those that town hall. And notice also, we've got two more heal spells besides the one I just put down, and a baby dragon. It's always good to deploy some stuff and then hold some stuff. That baby dragon is going to be clutch for getting that dark elixir, which I need. I, I mean, I'm max heroes, but I still need dark elixir for covering the cost of armies and for laboratory upgrades. So two heal spells down on each side. Unfortunately, the dark elixir storage only had two miners split off. So deploy this baby. Dragon a little late. And look at this. All right, so we're at 1979 Dark Elixir. This baby dragon's going to get roasted by that single targeting inferno. This is the facts. This is truth. But look at this. We went from 1900 to 3000. She, uh, he got, she or he, the baby dragon got over 1400, right? Yeah, over 1400 Dark Elixir just with a few shots. Didn't even get the full storage. So that was awesome. Shout out to that baby dragon, the true hero. Comments in the comments right now, the true hero. Baby Dragon. Hashtag whatever you want to put. So, shout out to that Baby Dragon and to those four trophies. So, guys, now we need to do a live attack, and there's a problem. I've only got 15 minutes of my shield left. Uh, just a scheduling issue today. So, 15 minutes to the personal break. If we don't find a base in 15 minutes, I'll have to take a defense before we can do our live attack, which is going to be a really big problem, because then our queen and king have to wake up. we got to get a new CC. I mean, it's going to be a big old problem. So, let's go out, guys. Let's find us a base and, um, and sit in the class. Before we cut the video though I do want to mention something that's been mentioned in the comments a bunch of times and it's people asking me to use a different strategy they're saying seeing the same strategy over and over again is getting boring and granted I agree with you seeing the same strategy does get boring or can get boring but the problem with changing strategies is it's like asking a professional athlete to change up how they do what they do uh, for instance a basketball free throw basketball players have the same free throw tradition every single time they do it so by telling that professional sports person to change would throw them off and that's the same thing with a push you want to get very very good at a good strategy in order to be successful the best way to fail 
in a push is to change your strategies. And I'm not going to do that. I like my strategy. It's working really well for me. Um, so I'm going to stick to this and we're going to do as best as we can in this push using this strategy that I'm very familiar with and very comfortable with. And I believe I have the best chance of hitting top 200 or at least 6,000 trophies using this same strategy. So with that cleared up guys, let's hopefully find a base or we'll have to take a defense one or the other. Whoa, guys, I, whoa, okay. Um, <laughs> that was actually a really, really fast clouding. It's normally, really, seriously, it's like 50, it's like 15 to 30 minutes in between bases, sometimes longer, but this is amazing. King's Rock, too. This guy's worth 42 trophies. Woo, okay. All right, we gotta, we gotta like, we gotta do good. We gotta do good things on this base, for show. Sure. Um, all right, let's 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 attack this base. Oh, this is gonna be a rough base. I'm gonna attack this base from the queen side. All right, from the queen side first. Let's get the healers in. Let's get the queen to approach a bit. Oh no, this is rough. All right, I just need to get the queen, the enemy queen out of here. All right, enemy queen, enemy CC, and then everything will be fine. Let's wall break, one, two, three. Oh, queen, where are you going? No, <laughs> no, what are you doing, queen? Get your healers out of here, man. Why? All right, we're gonna pop the um, we're gonna pop the warden's ability here in a minute. So let's pop, let's drop the rage spell. All right, a warden's ability once the sealer is about to die, huh? All right, right there, perfect. All right, queen approach, take out the CC. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. Yes. Okay, air defense is down. Drop the ray or drop the poison. I've got the queen's ability still, and the CC is about to go down. So um, poison spell is doing a good job. Pop the queen's ability. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. All right, CC goes down. We really, really need. All right, uh, drop the rage up. Oh, I dropped it too late. No, the CC. Oh, okay, the CC's dead. Perfect. All right, now, next, what we need to do is we need to clear up the easier corner with the um, with the witches. Let's drop the witches out here. Let's drop the, let's see, what's this? Oh, that's, that's bowlers, that's right. All right, king, bowlers, more bowlers, and I really need, I need the king to pop his ability early. All right, ability's been popped early. Oh man, this is not looking good at all, guys. This is looking really bad, to be honest with you. To be completely honest with you. Um, all right, that Eagle Artillery is going to be the death of me, man. This is bad. All right, uh, miners. Let's get the miners in. Let's get a baby dragon in here. No, let's get a baby dragon in here, too. I've got heal. I've got healers. Oh no, guys. This is not looking good at all. But the good thing is, it's a big, um, it's a big offer. So possibly, if we only one star, we'll at least get the one star, you know? Um, uh, the, uh, Eagle Artillery is down. It looks like we're gonna get the one star. Yep, we're gonna get the one star for sure. But are we gonna get the two? That would be cool. I don't think we are, though. But it's still gonna be a huge grab because it's worth 42 trophies. Dude, this is, this base is pretty good. This guy's from King's Rock. King's Rock is, is a famous clan. It's a famous pushing clan. So, shout out to these guys. Um, <laughs> oh, and look at that. The witches are still alive. Go, witches. Distract some stuff for me, please. Um, miners are still working. They're still working. Come on, guys. All right, we got to heal. But all these, oh, there's too much. There's too much going on in the middle right now. I've got the heal spell down. But four max expos, two single targeting infernos, and an eagle artillery. It just wasn't going to happen, guys. Wow. That base was amazing. Um, I, I think if I had another chance, I might have done a little bit better. But my queen did weird things. Like, why did she go all the way around just to... Just to put the uh, the 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 healers in the air defenses. To, like I don't get the queen sometimes. You know that's the risk you run whenever you do queen walks. Is that it could be extremely powerful, but it could also screw you over. Uh, so we we got lucky. We got the the one star. We didn't fail. Fourteen trophies. That's the biggest grab I've gotten in a long time. And the loot grab was awful. But um. I'm still happy we didn't lose. Shout out to Johnny Jet of Kings Rock. Hopefully he sees this. I know again that Kings Rock's a pretty, um, pretty uh, famous clan. So let's do this real quick. I'm gonna request. I've been requesting for witches, BBD, which baby dragon, and a rage spell. Let's get at least a good CC before I have to take a defense. And so guys, we are finishing off at 56. 14. All right, 56 14. If I go into top players and I go all the way down to the bottom, I am ranked currently 7,175 in global. That's actually pretty, that's better because I was at about 10,000. Local US, I am at number 
626. I was at about 900. So we're, we're working our way up in the ranks slowly but surely. So that's good. Also, my good buddy Rocky. Uh, we've been kind of keeping up with him. So let's see. Rocky is sitting at 56. Or, uh, I'm sorry, 58.51. So he's only about 200, 240-ish uh, trophies ahead of us. And he was way ahead of us last time, almost 400. So we're catching up to him slowly as well. So guys, that's going to do it for us today. Um, live attack could have gone a little bit better. I have to admit, oh, I wish it would have because that was a lot of trophies, but hey, at least we didn't fail, right? Slowly but surely, we're climbing up the ladders. And mark it, guys, 5614 is our current mark and my all-time best. We'll see where I'm at in about three to four days for the next episode. But for now, guys, that's going to be it for me. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, I will see you all again next time. Thank <laughs> you.